Hey y'all, Nate here with Nate's Interactive Auto. Y'all ready to get wrenching with today's tool tip? I know I am. This is a very important tip because nothing's more important than your safety. So always put your safety first. One way to do this is tire pressure. Check your tires at least once a month when the weather changes from cold to hot, hot to cold, it will change your tire pressure. So you want to make sure that you check that as the weather changes. You guys want to make sure that you check your tire pressure when the tire is cold. So check it first thing in the morning. Check when the vehicle hasn't been driven for a few hours or so. Once again, the temperature will change it. So, you want to do it at the right time. Also, what do we have right here? Just a 12 volt compressor that any person may have at their home. Has a gauge on it as you can see. This is a threaded fitting. Just threads on like this. Okay, you want to take this off. You want to make sure to check your pressure first. And this is very important. A lot of people are very confused about this, and I'm not sure why, but I want to let you guys know that if you're looking for what your tire pressure should be as far as the inside of your door or the inside of your glove box, and it says recommended pressure from the manufacturer at 35 PSI's max pressure, then you go out and change the tires to non-stock tires, meaning they're not the same type as the original tires, then you want to make sure that you go by the new tires manufacturer's statement of pressure. Now obviously if you have a four-wheel drive, if you have say a Mercedes and the front tires differ from the rear tires, and the tires need to be less in the front than in the rear because they are different tires. Those cases, you're going to stay with the stock tires regardless. So you'll go by the manufacturer's recommendations. And I always do recommend that. But as I said, if you change tires, performance tires, or some other tire, you want to make sure that you go by the tire manufacturer because different tire, different tire pressure, you know, the car is giving you what you need to do as far as the tires that they gave you, the original equipment is concerned. So anyways, let's just dive right in. This one you want to thread on here. And you want to look for your pressure. Like I said, you can look inside your door, but, or glove box. You can also, like I said, if you have a different tire than what the stock tire was, you want to look on here and they'll say max pressure. So, as you can see right here. Uh, it's not one to really show up that well. You want to check it with the gauge. Depending on what gauge you have, digital gauge, uh, gauge on your pump like this one. And as you can see, this one reads around 30 PSI's. You guys want to make sure that you don't lose these caps for your valve caps because these are actually pretty important. These things are notorious for leaking the valves sometimes, uh, even after checking it. But usually that's because they're loose or something like that. Um, these are more like a, a safety mechanism than they are anything else. So uh, plastic ones work fine, but I recommend using metal ones if at all possible. You haven't went over the specified value. If you have went over, 5% less of that max pressure 
40 psi is cold. So I'm just going to round this off for you guys. 50 psi is cold, 45 psi. So remember, just take 5% off. So 50 psi would be 45 because it will increase as the tire heats up to take this while it's cold. Next thing you want to do, once you've got it full, take this off, take your cap, place it back on. Like I said, if you accidentally put a little too much air in it, then you can take something, maybe your fingernail, if you don't have a fingernail like me, you can take the tip of a knife or you can take a small rock like this one, just a little pebble, anything that'll reach there and press on that little tip, see and it'll let the air back out. So just let a little bit out at a time until you get it right. Not too much, but not too little because that's also very, very bad. Okay, the next thing you guys want to do is check the tread depth because we all know tires can be expensive. So check the tread depth because you don't want to have to buy tires when it's too late you want to know ahead of time in advance so the more you guys know in advance you know you'll be able to prepare and buy those new tires because they are very expensive a lot of times so you can take a penny and see the penny here and you can flip the penny upside down like this put it inside the tread if it's above Lincoln's head you're good to go below Lincoln's head and as you can see his head right right there Let's see I try to get you can see his head right here my tip of my thumb not much between the bottom of his head and the bottom of the penny so like I said it's upside down that's what it's supposed to be when you check it and then you want to place it right in the tread and you see it's going over his head so if it goes beneath it then you're definitely in need of some tread going across it because see you could have a lot of tread right here reach back here and it'd be bald that happened to me one time I just look at it from the outside and I thought oh well I'm good I'm good you know I check them every so often well needless to say I wouldn't reach my hand back in there feeling of it and oh yeah I mean just even putting your hand in there and feeling of it can go a long way well I want to thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto and you guys keep on wrenching I want to thank y'all for watching I appreciate you guys Invest in your time to watch these videos.